Another thing to consider is axial end play. Um, in the real, in the perfect world, tolerances wouldn't exist. You know, if you had a 10 millimeter section of an application, it would be 10 millimeters. This isn't the perfect world. This is the real world. So we have tolerances. Um, luckily, rotor clip has bowed and beveled rings to help you make up for this worst case scenario. Um, bowed rings are offered in our housing shaft and also radial and radially installed versions. They offer resilient take up by acting as a spring. Um, they can also dampen vibration and oscillation, whereas the VHO and VSH rings act like a wedge, um, taking up the end play of your assembly. So here's some examples of our bowed rings. Um, you can see how they look when they're installed and get a nice uh, visual of how they would work. Calculating the um, calculating positioning for these involves three key factors. There's the J min and J max that are found in our catalog. Uh, B min and B max should be known from the design of the retained part. B min being um, the smallest size, and B max being the largest size. Once you account for tolerance. The front of the groove should then be um, calculated to be between A min and A max. A min and A max being the um, the plane of ref the location of the front of that groove, always from a plane of reference behind your retained part, not from the front of your retained part. So our catalog lists our J min and J max values and the overall resilient and play take up that the ring size can achieve. So on these examples, we're looking at 11 thousandths of take up. That's 11 thousandths of um, tolerance that you can have in your retained parts. Beveled rings come into play above one inch. Um, Bowed rings are usually below one inch. They go up to about two inches, and um, basically above there, it makes more sense to switch to the bevel series. VHO and VSH, as I said, are useful above one inch. Um, and they're easily compared to select fit ground rings, except they're less expensive and more versatile. So. On a ground ring, you'll take a standard blank and grind to multiple thicknesses, say 2.5 millimeters, 2.48 millimeters, 2.46 millimeters, stepping up and down in um, small increments. The VHO style ring can take care of that, um, that tolerance stack with just one ring. This leads to less inventory for the customer and less cost to the customer since the bevel can be integrated into the stamping tool or even formed into the wire before wire forming. A couple of general rules for beveled rings. When you locate your groove, you want to make sure that the ring is seated at least halfway into the groove and does not bottom out in the groove. If the ring bottoms out, you can't guarantee that your retained part is tight against the retaining ring. Uh, B min and B max in this case are known from the design of your retained part, just as with just as with the bowed rings. And U and D are catalog values. U being the um, thickness of the ring after the bevel, and D being the depth of the groove. At rotor clip. We always like to give you more, so we're giving you a bonus solution. Um, these are wave springs. They're a great replacement for bell veil washers and coil springs. They take up to 50% of the axial space of a coiled ring, so or a coiled spring. So if you're trying to 
make a smaller application, trying to get less headspace, WaveSprings may be the way to go. Likewise, if you're using Belleville washers or Belleville stack, switching to a WaveSpring gives you a single, ring op a single spring option. Um, in a situation where you have four Bellevilles, you can replace them with one WaveSpring. You don't have to worry about quality complaints and possible rebuilds if the assembly line only installs three Bellevilles instead of four. Also, on our WaveSprings, we can add shims on the end. Shims can be programmed into the forming machine, um, so there's no need to add a secondary operation for grinding as you would on a coil spring. Um, wave springs have an almost infinite number of designs with different dimensions and forces, and once we have a wire size, there's um, no tooling as tooling is all matched to the wire. So we make our designs to match what we the tooling we have so that we can offer you a low cost and even low volume if necessary part without additional costs for tooling. So 